Hello and welcome to another VecDeasy video tutorial. My name is Rick and today we're going to be learning how to add and manipulate text in Inkscape. We're first going to open the text and font panel from the text menu. This will allow us to control the font, size, and style. To add text on your document, click the text tool within the toolbar. For single line text, simply click somewhere in the document and begin typing. For paragraph style, click and drag a text box within the document. You can then click and drag the diamond to resize your text box. You can also reposition your text box by using the selection tool and dragging the object. Once you've entered your text, you can use the additional controls in the top toolbar to modify your font. Now let's move on to modifying our text. Let's say we want to change the layout of our text and have it follow a path or a curve. We'll start by drawing a simple path using the pen tool. Next, we'll type our text using the text tool. Now with both on our document, we'll use the selection tool to select both our path and our text. Then we'll go to the text menu and choose put on path. Inkscape will then automatically place our text on our path. And the cool thing is, you can use the node tool to modify your path and your text will actually follow. Next, let's say we're unhappy with a character within a font or we simply want to modify the appearance or reshape some characters. We can have Inkscape convert your text into editable objects. First, enter your line of text and then go to the path menu and choose object to path. Inkscape will then convert each letter into its own shape. You can then use the node tool to modify any of the points on any character. By default, Inkscape will group all of your characters together, but by selecting your text and going to Object, Ungroup, you can separate all of your characters. Note that after you convert your text to a path, your text is no longer editable. And here's a quick pro tip for you. Converting text to paths is also the way to ensure your text will appear properly when it's exported to any vector format because at this point, they're really not fonts, but vector objects within your document. These are just some quick and easy tips to get you started with text in Inkscape. That's all for now. Thanks for watching and good luck on your creative journey.